This article describes those tests, how to collect samples for them, and how resulting soil health scores are calculated and, and interpreted. That's what's important is the interpretation. I don't know how in the world they're doing that. In recent years, interest in soil health has grown significantly across the Northern Great Plains, primarily as the result of dedicated efforts of researchers and extension professionals. Although still in its infancy, this is... This increased interest in soil health and sustainable farming has led to more labs offering services for soil health testing. Never underestimate a, a lab or commercial industry or company to jump on an opportunity, even if there's no evidence to support it. <laughs> They're going to make that money. And that's what a lot of soil health, these, these soil test uh, companies have been doing. Oh, we'll do it. We'll, we'll offer it. They'll make their money. I don't know how in the world the information is useful to the end user, but they, they don't care. They're going to do the soil test and take their money. According to Lance Gunderson, director of the Soil Health and New Test Development for Ward Laboratories in Kearney, New, New, uh, Nebraska, there is no definitive consensus as to what tests should be performed by labs, which can be problematic. You think so? <laughs> Just a little problematic? There's no consensus as to what we should even be doing. So why are we even taking these tests? <laughs> the guy says there's no consensus. We don't know what we should be doing.